Hola, me llamo Duke of the Bunk. Bienvenidos a la programa. Welcome to uh, Retro Game Week on the stream. Uh, today I will be playing the humans for the Sega Genesis. Hey Morse, uh, welcome to the chat room. CPC Gamer, Mars Draconis, Oxbow, Anime Flame 12, Galen O'Reilly, Just Drop, 10 Minecrafter 1, and The Great M. And uh, this is a cool little puzzle game that was released for multiple platforms. Um, on Twitch, it says I'm playing the DS version of the game, which is completely different. But uh, there's no... Uh, this game doesn't exist in the database. The uh, They have the Humans 3, but no version of the original Humans. Um, now, the thing about this game is that you can either have music or sound effects, but you can't have both at the same time. And the music is really kind of crappy in this game anyway, so I'm just turning off the sound completely. And I have some awesome retro-style chiptunes playing in the background. Um, I, I, I believe the audio level is to be suitable, but if I need to make any, uh, any changes, just let me know. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Darian Mask. Uh, I have queued up uh, two albums by George and Jonathan, the chiptune duo, and then I have a uh, an FM uh, compilation of chiptunes by uh, a bunch of various artists, and uh, I'll, I'll link to that in the actual video if anyone's interested. Really good stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I played the crap out of this game when I was a kid, but I'm not 100% sure if I ever actually beat it. Um, I don't think I did. Uh, it's a fairly long game. Um, you play a tribe of humans, uh, early cavemen, and your goal is to basically uh, discover all the tools necessary for a human to thrive and uh, to evolve. Oh, uh, let me sync the chat room real quick. Thanks for reminding me, Just Drop. Um, hey, baby. Wanna kill all humans? There. My, my new keyboard is actually a lot quieter than my last keyboard. Oh, crap. I think I just messed up the, uh, the, uh, the window. Hold on. Wanna click back in? Okay. There we go. Um, the only difference when playing on easy versus normal or hard, which I'm doing, I'm playing on easy, uh, the only difference is that uh, on harder difficulties you have less time and fewer humans in your human pool. Well, I, I wasn't talking directly to you, Just Drop. He says, I don't know how I feel about being referenced as baby. You should feel flattered. It's a very endearing term. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Inzu Draragna. So uh, the first level, very easy. All you have to do is bring all your humans up to the top level, have them stand on each other's shoulders in a human ladder type fashion, and pick up the spear. Uh, General Gotenks, welcome to the chat room. <laughs> Another guy to call Josh, yes. Welcome to the chat room, Josh. General Josh. No comedic things like Lost Vikings. Uh, there are a few little funny bits here and there. Um, every few levels, like like this, you have a little animated cutscene with a uh, a hilarious video of follies of the early humans. Oh, humans! When will you ever learn? And when I was a kid, those little animated cutscenes were the shit. It's like, holy crap. It's a two second cartoon coming from my Sega Genesis. I really like the Lost Vikings videos, that's why, why I subscribed. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Now, your action bar is located down towards the bottom of the screen. Uh, you cycle through your different actions by hitting the C button. Uh, when, you, when you're when you not holding a tool, your two actions are pick up an item. Oops, wrong button. Pick up an item, like such. And the other action is to wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. And you can also accomplish that by pressing up on the D-pad. Um, 
when you have a spear, your actions are to throw it, to prod with it, and to drop it. And most importantly, you can use it as a pole vault to help you get across small gaps. And that's the only way you can uh, you can jump in this game. Uh, the humans aren't very mobile. Uh, welcome to the chat room, the dead deity. So the puzzle in this game will be uh, we need to get two humans down to the bottom, which I only know at this point in the game because I played it before. Uh, there are a few tricky gaps that you have to cross. Well, really just one, which is this gap coming up. Um, if you get too close to the edge, then you will fall off and die. You, you can't survive a fall longer than like half the length of your own body. But uh, if you're not close enough to the edge, then you will not make the jump. Or if you don't time it correctly. Yes, this is a fairly difficult game. Um, you can kill your teammates in a number of interesting ways. Um, in later levels, killing your teammates becomes a necessity in some ways. Which uh, we may see tonight. I'm not sure how far I'll make it tonight, but uh, hopefully we will see some of the interesting mechanics. Uh, Poison for the fairies, welcome to the chat room. And uh, like I said, I played this game on the uh, on the Genesis, but it was also available for the PC, um, the Amiga, and probably a bunch of other relatively obscure home computer systems. Um, there were two sequels, well, two direct sequels, and then in recent years there was a new game release called the Humans, um, like Evolution or something. Uh, but it doesn't really bear much resemblance to the original game, from what I've seen. Uh, Dark Wolf 44, welcome to the chat room. Looks like an advanced form of lemmings. Uh, yeah, I, I mean there are some similar similarities with lemmings. Um, some similarities with the Lost Vikings. Um, the puzzles can become quite a bit tricky later on, especially as you start discovering new tools. Yeah, I think there was a Super Nintendo version, but uh, but this is the Genesis version. I have the uh, the fancy graphics filters turned on, so it looks smoother than it would normally. Uh, this level is called Pass the Parcel, which uh, I unfortunately failed to do. I dropped the spear in the bubbling pit of lava, so I will be forced to restart the level. Unfortunately, there's no penalty for restarting. Um, if you lose enough humans and you don't have enough humans in your pool to complete the level you're on, um, it will give you a game over screen, which is uh, kind of amusing if I get that at some point. But uh, you don't really lose any progress. All you have to do is go back to the main menu and the password for whatever level you're currently on is already in inputted. Input into the password field, so you just have to uh, continue and you start off right right where you left off. So uh, yeah, I decided to uh, play this game because I felt I've been doing a little bit too much Binding of Isaac lately. And I mean, it is an awesome game, um, but you know, diversity is the spice of cliches and so on and whatnot there are still good cartoons out there yeah I agree um, there have been a lot of great cartoons recently that I've been meaning to, uh, to check out um, Adventure Time is one uh, I've only seen a few episodes of that but uh, what I've, from what I've seen it, it's pretty great And uh, I've been watching a little bit of, uh, well, I've watched a little bit of Avatar The Last Airbender because uh, Moores is a big fan of it. And uh, now that the new show, Legend of Korra, is out, I'd like to get caught up since I hear that show is pretty awesome too. Uh, welcome to the chat room, DVAFP and Evil Zop. And I'm just kind of blazing through these early levels here. Um, I, I played them recently, just to you know, make sure I have 
make sure I have uh, a handle on the controls and controls. I don't know why the background is so flickery on these levels. I don't remember it being that flickery on uh, when I actually played it on a Genesis. Um, we have uh, two goals in this one. Uh, we have the optional goal of rescuing one of the humans and uh, we have just the normal goal as you can see down there uh, below where my human is currently standing um, to get the uh, to get the human that's tied up we will need to bring an extra person so I will just go ahead and uh, I believe we only need three people to do this to get the person and uh, and reach the goal so far we haven't really seen any enemies um, there are enemies yet to face in this game um, there's dinosaurs because of, co of course the humans lived at the same time as the dinosaurs and I think I just screwed up um, pretty sure if I try to fall from this side of the platform I will die and that is the case uh, so I will go ahead and restart this level since I have no way of getting the spear back up to that person does only one man have to get to the end to complete the, to complete the level yeah you only need to get one person to stand on the goal to beat the level but uh, there are other goals um, in some levels uh, rescuing a person is one of the goals like it's not an option it's a requirement and then in some levels like the one where you got the spear uh, you have to uh, discover something before you can uh, before you can progress and then I think there are some levels where you have a specific goal to uh, to kill something like to kill a dinosaur or to kill uh, a member of another human tribe yeah trust me this music is uh, it's much better than what you would be listening to if I left the music in the game on Yeah, there, there are a few little uh, technical problems. Um, the music's not great, and the refresh rate is not superb. I guess that's what's, what's causing the flickering. I, for, I forgot I could actually use this guy once I rescue him. I guess I won't need that third person. Uh, as far as I remember, there's nothing down here. Um, it's just a red herring. If you actually send someone down there, then you, know, you have a possibility of getting stuck and having to restart. So... Uh, yeah, I won't bother with any of that. Can you spear your own Neanderthals? Yes, indeed. You can kill your fellow humans with reckless abandon. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Merk Weirdovich. Merk Weirdich. Merk Weirdich. And uh, Gartholomew68, welcome. There are plants on the other side. Yeah, th there was... Yeah, nothing of any importance down there. So, uh, I haven't decided if, if I'm going to play this game for the whole two hours. Um, I have some other retro games in mind to uh, pick up just in case I get stuck or this gets stale. But I'm pretty sure... Uh, I, I mean, I've, I haven't beaten this game, I don't think, but I have made it pretty far. So I'm pretty sure I can go for two hours without getting stuck. Oh, on the side I fell on, I didn't instantly die. Oh, you, you can cancel out of uh, a jump or a throw by hitting the the down arrow on the D-pad as well, in case you need to uh, to readjust yourself. Now I don't remember how many humans you need for this puzzle, so I will just go ahead and bring all four. What other games do I have? Well, um, on the Genesis, I have every game. Oh, if you actually walk across that bridge, then the little divots will uh, will fall away. Now, I'm going to need this spear to get on the back of that pterodactyl. Have I played Super Meat Boy? Yeah, I have. Um, I mean, I like it in principle. Um, Oh shit. But uh, I'm not really a fan of that kind of difficulty in games. Uh, so I, I vastly prefer the Binding of Isaac. 
I mean, I, I appreciate what he's trying to do with Super Meat Boy, but, uh, yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Fox. Are all of them streamable? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just using an emulator, so any other Genesis or Super Nintendo or, or any NES game I, I would want to play, I can just fire up. And I had, I had a, couple, a couple other things in mind, too, but, uh, we'll see if, uh, We'll see. I had a demo of the game and it was super easy. Are you talking about Super Meat Boy? I mean, to just beat the game, it's really not that difficult um, to get to the end of the game which is technically beating it but um, you know to actually 100% it to get all the secret levels and unlock all the characters characters and stuff it is um, it's just more than I'm will willing to put in uh, welcome to the chat room Oblivix glad to see you again when you have epic fetus using the mouse becomes useful I don't think I've gotten that one yet. Oh shit. But that's the one that turns every shot into uh, into a doctor's remote missile, right? I've read about it. We have another uh, long, difficult jump here. Let's see if I can make this without killing myself again. Uh, looks like I only need two people to finish this one. Now you have to be careful because if you are not, if you don't have the right command selected, you will jump instead of throwing the spear. I just want to say you have to be careful because if you throw the spear too hard, then it'll hit the rocks on the ceiling and fall, and you'll have to completely restart the level because there's no way of getting down there and getting it. Uh, Ultra Kirby 64, welcome. I mean, fortunately, if you die. You can just, uh, if you die, when you respawn, you, you still have the spear. So you don't have to completely abort the level if, uh, if one of your humans dies. I'm having so much trouble with the last two challenges, says the dead deity. Yeah, I've, I've only done the first, uh, the first two. Oh, by the way, I, I did end up unlocking um, the stuff for the first two challenges. Um, apparently, it was just backwards because I got the candle uh, when I finished two, and I got the lucky toe when I finished one. So, it was just switched around for some reason. Uh, welcome, Nightmare Bros. And welcome, PokeMat28. Am I ever going to play Dungeons of Dreadmore? Um, I've played it. Um, I enjoy it. It's not my favorite roguelike, but it's an excellent example of it. Um, I don't think I'll, I'll ever stream it. If I stream anything, it would probably... Yeah, any roguelike, it would probably be NetHack. Because that's my favorite of the genre. And here we have our first dinosaur. And uh, these early dinosaurs are relatively easy to deal with. All you have to do is hit them with a spear and they deflate like a balloon. Is this tongue wagging? Yeah, probably. Those dinosaurs are known for their uh, their sharp tongues. I guess those other three guys are just total filler, because I have no way of getting them up here. Well, I guess, well, actually, oh, I see. I have to drop the spear from the pterodactyl. Let me just uh, move these guys under this ledge to make sure I don't accidentally kill them. And drop it. Fortunately, this does not kill the pterodactyl. I need to get the Binding of Isaac. Curse my... Adicons to certain things. 
I guess you mean addictions? Well, as far as addictions go, Binding of Isaac is a good one to have because uh, it's only $8 for everything. So, you know, unlike World of Warcraft or another similar addictive addictive game, um, the cost to addiction ratio is uh, is very low. Uh, welcome, Dr. Zoidberg. What time is it for me? Uh, it is 7:24 p.m. Yes, I, I typically stream from uh, from seven to nine. Darian Mass says, need an Atticon? Why not Zoidberg? Yeah, I bet Zoidberg would make a good Atticon. Uh, one more dude. And in this level, our goal is to discover fire. Because, you know, that's exactly how the early humans discovered fire. They, uh, they just found it laying around on a ledge. And they, uh, they climbed on top of each other and just picked it up. Just a uh, pre-lit, permanently burning torch. Oh! Shit. <laughs> oh well, I don't actually need the spear from this point on. I meant to throw it, just in case, but... Fire get. I swear I've seen this game streamed before. Did you stream this when you first started streaming? I don't think so. Not, not that I remember. Uh, welcome, Mr. Wolf from JTV. The Daily Rock, still only half a sheep. That's kind of gruesome. I mean, do they actually cut the sheep in half, or do they have to buy two papers at a time? Oh, Duke, there are these really and Breath of Death 7 cheap games. I got them for one pound. The games are Cthulhu Saves the World and Breath of Death 7. I'm going to make an LP of them, but it would be awesome if you stream it. Well, I don't really stream RPGs, uh, but I do like Cthulhu Saves the World. Wow, that is really bad flickering. I don't know why it's doing that. I apologize. Can I like, disable the background layers or anything in this one? I don't think so. I think that's just on the, uh, just on the SNES. Turn on VSync, maybe? No. Wow. Scan lines? No. Hmm. Wow. I apologize. Um, there are many levels with uh, a purple sky like this. Now, if I remember correctly, that thing over on the right there is not actually a goal. It is a, uh, it activates something else in the level. Now with the fire, you can, uh, you can throw it like you do the spear, or you can, uh, prod with it, or you can burn things with it. There are certain things in the game that can be burned, or you can just drop it. Well, let's see what the, let's see what the switch thingy does. We'll just pretend the world is ending. <laughs> Duke 2012. <laughs> yeah. And there's like a, a barrier over there. Now the question is, can I just throw this fire up there or do I have to actually bring some somebody down to physically get it? I don't think you can kill humans by throwing fire at them. Okay, good. That makes things easier. I don't have to actually waste another person getting the fire to the other humans. It's definitely the emulator. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know why it's doing that. Now, we don't want to get too close to this guy, because I'm pretty sure he is, uh, he's willing and eager to, uh, to throw that spear at us and end our lives. Their arms must be getting tired. Nah, they're used to it. I mean, that's pretty much all they had to do back then. 
It was the closest thing to a hobby they got. The Crew Max had swinging parties back in the day. Oh, I'm sure. Everyone back then was fucking everybody. It was a regular, uh... Eternal Orgy. Now, if I remember correctly, and it's quite possible that I don't. Actually, I don't think he actually throws his spear at you unless you actually burn down that bush. Nope. I was mistaken. But now we have a spear. So really, we didn't even have to go up and get that spear in the first place. We just had to, uh, lose a human. Which I'm okay with. But, um, uh, I think I'll kill you anyway. Okay. Uh, I am Mr. Mr. and Poly Gaming. Welcome. Now, unfortunately, if you're on the bottom of the stack, you can't break the stack and make everyone fall. You have to wait for everybody to get off of you. Oh. Well, apparently, it is possible to burn your fellow humans. That's not good. But like I said, if you do lose all your humans, it's really not that big of a setback. Um, Z Symphonics, welcome. I find it funny that they just disappear in a puff of smoke like a magician. Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. Just wait until we get the Wish Doctor. The Wish Doctor sets people on fire for both fun and profit. So what do we have here? Two groups of humans separated by a bush. A mean looking guy with a uh, with a spear and nothing else. So I guess we're just going to have to uh, avoid this guy, which I did not do a very good job of. Once he doesn't have a spear anymore, he's harmless though. He just kind of ignores you. Uh. Welcome to the chat room, Fro Fro Poof Poof. Thank you for uh, gracing us with your username. Now, in this one, we don't actually have a goal per se. Our, our only go goal is to uh, to rescue our friend there. Can I burn this guy? Is he burnable? Aw, oh, no fair. How come I have to waste a spear on him, but I can torch my own guys with no problem? I wonder if people are creating names just to see if you'll save them. Well, I'll say, I'll say any name once. As long as it doesn't contain any slurs of an offensive nature. Which I don't think Twitch would allow that in the first place. Oh yeah. I have to keep a guy there. I have to keep that ice cube melted. You might become a Josh later though. Yes. If uh, if I don't like your username, then uh, then I'll call you Josh. That's the uh, that's the rule. I should I should make that an official rule on my Twitch page. If your username is dumb, then you will be Josh. Or, you know, whatever other random name I feel like making up. My brother goes by Mixes Pitlick. Yeah, but, I mean, that's kind of excusable because it's a reference to a uh, comic book character. I mean, it's still impronounceable, but, um, uh, it's better than Super Bong Weed Lord 69 420 1982. Dude. Oh, that reminds me. 
I got a subscriber on Twitch with the username Come on Feet. C O M E O N F E E T. Now I know he probably meant it in an innocent way. Well, relatively innocent. But, um. Uh, my brain can't help but interpret that. Oh, I guess there is a goal in this level. Interpret that in the worst possible way. Come on, feet is a song by a British band. Is that is that real or are you making that up? Because if it's real, then I feel a little bit better. But I'd have to actually see what the song is about before I'm completely uh, completely satisfied. Maybe it's a sequel to Come On Eileen. Uh, welcome to the chat room. <sighs> B-F-F-L-N-M-W-H Or as you will be known from here on out, Archibald. Duke needs to get his brain out of the gutter. Well, I'm not the one with the username Come On Feet. Wait a second. Oh, I guess he moved slightly. Uh, actually, I don't need to step on that. I can just come around the other one. Now, really, I should just leave this guy alone since he's not hurting anyone at this point. But you killed my brother, so fuck you. I'm assuming these guys are brothers. They all look the same. Man, have, have you seen those YouTube videos of that sport? I guess it's a, a sport, technically a sport. Um, in like Thailand or the Philippines or something. Which is basically what the humans are doing here. Like the goal of the sport is to create a tower of humans as high as possible. And they, they don't wear any safety equipment or anything and they make just these incredibly dangerous 20 foot tall stacks of people it is pretty uh, pretty thrilling uh, Chris P bacon welcome to the chat room and welcome to the stream sounds awesome yeah I forget what it's called um I mean just search YouTube for uh, human stacking sport or something like that and then there's this other one where uh it's like real life angry birds where they make stacks of people um and then their goal is to knock the tower down well it's not to knock the tower down but uh, they have a person sitting on like a little wooden platform on top of a pole and uh the goal of the other team is to knock the person off the top of the pole but then he has a whole group of people you know helping him stay on the platform, helping keep the other people away. I mean, that's, uh... That's pretty hardcore. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That's, uh... Those guys are... They're bigger badasses than football players, let's just say that. Oh, I guess I need to bring this guy down and pick up a torch. Uh, McZack2, welcome. And... Bob Lob Lawn or Way, welcome to the chat room. Do you have a blog, Bob Lob? And if so, is it about law? Bob Lob's law blog? Because with a name like that, you should really follow your calling and become an attorney. Oh shit. That spear went right through that fucking dinosaur's head. Oh. oh apparently this guy isn't going down so easily. Um. Oh, GB UFO, welcome. Haven't seen you in a bit. Um. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get that other spear? Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I bet I'm supposed to keep this dinosaur at bay. But how the hell am I supposed to do that? Sorry about but not being on so much. That's oh, okay. We all have lives. Uh, yeah, I think I messed this one up. Oh, 
a lot of real monsters. Yeah, the scream in the intro to that show is actually like a common scream in uh, in TV sound effects. It's kind of like the Wilhelm scream, but different. Uh, Drew Peacock, welcome to the chat room. All right, let's uh, let's use our. New oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I need to uh, hold this guy off, then bring someone down to get the fire, and then I will. Uh, Actually, I don't even need to get the fire at this point. I just need to bring the spear down. Okay. See, I thought the dinosaurs that took more than one hit were supposed to look different. Like they were a different color or something. But apparently... Well, hold on. I'm going to need the fire to get this guy down. Hmm. Shit. <laughs> oh man. I respawned down there. Bogus. Good thing pterodactyls are nice dinosaurs. Alright, I need to, uh, to time this correctly. Duke, what is the joke to my name? Um, I didn't know there was a joke. Drew Peacock. Um, oh, wrong action. And I lost the spear. Great. Well, can I pick up this fire without getting killed? Okay. I think I can. I just need to, uh, to not get eaten. Okay. I didn't realize that was popular. Oh, I get it. Yes. Yes. Very, very mature. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Odin337. This is one of my favorite tracks on this album, by the way. It's by uh, Bomb Boy, and it's called Back Alley Clash. Really awesome track. It's in my YouTube favorites, so go uh, go check that out. One of the more recent ones in, in my favorites. Saya Chan. Yeah, I apologize for the sky, Saya Chan. Um, I didn't realize the em emulation would uh, would be crappy. Do you guys think Duke would stream the SCP game? I honestly don't want to play it to find out. SCP. Um, you're going to have to uh, be more specific. Oh man! Three shots? Really? Now what am I supposed to do? SCP-0087 and never heard of it. Well that didn't work. That didn't work either. Staircase Simulator 3000 Secure Contain Protect. Yeah, I don't know what any of these things are. I think you need all three spears to kill the dino. Well, yeah, I mean, that's obvious at this point, but, um... I, I don't know how to get the third spear without getting killed. I'm gonna have to, uh... Utilize my brain doodle. Oh! Wait. Try this. Make it a little easier in that respect. Scary randomly generated level game. Well, uh, somebody email me a link or something and, uh, and I'll check it out maybe. Now I'm thinking, I was thinking maybe I could uh, keep him, hmm, sh 
sure what's my link. My, you mean the link to my email? Um, it's just, uh, what? You were supposed to turn around before you got to that point. Why do dinosaurs never cooperate? Yeah, it's just, uh, just Duke of the Bump at Gmail. I'm Duke of the Bump on pretty much everything. Except YouTube. Because I created my YouTube account before I knew I wanted to be Duke of the Bump. And by then it was too late. Harass him on AIM. I do it all the time when I drink. Um... I wouldn't call that harassment. Um, per se. Uh, Goro Rules, welcome to the chat room. I don't think it's going to be possible to actually sneak past this dinosaur. I go by Duke IRL also. Uh, no? I'm not sure what would have given you that impression. Why not just create a new YouTube account? And use, lose my literally thousands of subscribers? You must be crazy. Alright, well, let's see if I can slip past this guy. Well, not if I fucking drop the spear. I guess my goal in this level is to kill the dinosaur, because I don't see any other goal. I go by Lord Buckley. Uh, that's pretty epic. Well, that didn't work. There's gotta be something I'm missing. I walked slightly forward and it stopped poking the dinosaur. You said you used Duke of the Bump on everything. Yes, everything on the internet. Everything on the interwebs. Well, I fucked this one up, so let's uh let's restart. And my apparent about a million views unless I'm somehow drunk and solve that. Yeah, it's about a million and a half, um, which really isn't that impressive when you've been on YouTube for five years. But ever since I started doing the streams, I've slowly been getting uh, more and more subscribers, so hopefully uh, hopefully I can go up a few levels. Uh, welcome Lola Roos. Oblivix plus Drew Peacock plus crispy bacon equals one person why would you uh, why, why would you do that you know what I bet I know what I need to do I need to sacrifice someone and then sneak in and get the last spear while the dinosaur is eating that's kinda grim but uh, such is the law of the jungle or the uh, mountains or the ice caps or wherever I am Can I throw the fire at the dino or something? No, I'm pretty sure the uh, the fire doesn't actually hurt dinosaurs. It just scares them. All right, let's uh, let's put my dastardly plan in action. Do I have three spears? I'm I, yeah okay, or I have two. And I can get the third by sacrificing someone. Sacrificial lamb. Yes, the wrath of the lamb. All right, that's one. That's two. Sorry, buddy. You are destined to be bait. Duke, I did it for the lols. Oh, I'm sorry that your life is so boring that you get uh, you get enjoyment from that kind of thing. All right, let's uh, let's get as close to the ladder as possible before I uh, before I make the dinosaur take the bait. 
Alright, so here's what I'll do. Oh, the humanity. Get it? Humanity? Because I'm playing humans. Ha! You can't fool me, you stupid dinosaur. Gobbled him down in two bites. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh... It was a scary, life-changing ordeal. I can fool you? Uh, well, I mean, if that's the sort of thing you're into, I guess. Why would you name your manatee Hugh? I'm not going to dignify that with a response. That's not even a pun, because I didn't say Hugh, I said huge. <laughs> uh, that is, that's a good one, CPC Gamer. I like puns. I like good puns. SCP-08 is really dumb. Don't do anything with that stupid shit. Okay. I will take your word over the word of some random internet person. Apologies for the delay. Well, my tribe now has 11 members. I'm moving up in the world. Okay, we're back to the, the slightly flickery sky instead of the uh, annoyingly flickery sky. Alright, well we have a uh, pressure point to stand on. Which doesn't look like it does anything. Oh. I think this has something to do with those rocks up here. Maybe I have to like have two people standing on it or something. It's one of those extra tough pressure points that requires the weight of two people instead of the weight of one person. Caveman games. That was a cool game. Me and Moore's used to play that on the uh, Nintentron all the time. That was going to be one of the games when we were doing the uh, the Let's Play Athlon, but uh, with that kind of lost steam. All right, let's see if my theory about this pressure plate is correct. Yes, excellent. Now, do I need? All three of these guys. I probably will eventually. Alright, well, let's go ahead and toss this spear there. Oh, crap. Alright, well, this isn't unsalvageable. I just have to uh, cross the bridge when I get to it. CPC Gamer and more say the game isn't even scary. Not properly scary. I think I know what you're talking about now. It's one of those puzzle games with all the doors or all the rooms that you have to figure out how to get out of. Yeah. I, I, I think I looked at that for a few seconds and lost interest. Now those guys are just stuck down there. There's not going to be any way for me to get them back. So this better be enough humans. <gasps> Wrong action. Lyrex, what's up? Just like Amnesia, the Dark Descent, that shit isn't scary either. Well, I mean, I've heard mixed things about that one. Um, I'll give it a try one of these days. You know, this isn't going to be enough humans. I need two more.
Hmm. Oh, you know what? I went about this all wrong. Huh. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't notice that there is a pterodactyl up there. A P, a P pterodactyl. I think that P pterodactyl needs to see a P psychiatrist. Is this from dust? Uh, no, this is this is humans. On the Sega Genesis. Uh, welcome, Alex TF2. Do I read creepy pastas? Um, I know what you're re referring to, and I have come across them occasionally. But uh, I don't. That's a really dumb term. I just call them, you know, scary stories. Cause that's what they are, or you know, supposedly scary stories. All right, now if I remember correctly, this is the normal kind of dinosaur that just takes one hit to kill. You know, when I played this on the Genesis, I always thought the humans from the other tribe looked kind of Asian, but now that I'm looking at it here, it just looks like another ugly, you know, caveman, stere you know, stereotypical caveman. I don't know why I thought they looked Asian. Now, if I remember correctly, it's possible to get this guy to throw a spear without actually dying, but uh, I didn't manage to do that. Uh, Rain Doom, welcome to the chat room. Scary stories sounds scary stories sounds boring as hell. Yeah, well, creepy pasta sounds stupid as hell, so I'll take boring over stupid. Oh crap. See, the fact that I'm playing on easy, you know, is, um, I mean, it's making this a lot easier because I can afford to just lose guys and, re and you know, it's not a big deal. I can restart the level whenever I want and etc. But, you know, I don't want to have to deal with the, uh, the crappy time limit, so... Easy's fine for now. Oh! That was a goal. Apparently that's all I had to do. Duke, do you like Trazens? Um... You know, I think you, uh... I think you're just... Quoting random internet gibberish at me. And uh, I don't take I don't take kindly to that. Did I welcome Nightmare Brothers to the chat room? I just noticed you. I don't think I said hello. Hello, Nightmare Brothers. Uh, Oriental Junior, welcome. Big Bang Theory reference. Uh, I don't watch the show, so I wouldn't know. Well, let's see. We have a platform down there that supposedly does something. Duke, I meant trains. Why would you ask if I like trains? What, what does that even mean? I mean, I guess I like, you know, the fact that you can easily transport coal over long distances. Um, I mean, that's cool. That That's helpful to society. Oh, crap. I guess I need to hang on to that spear for a while. Hmm. Game pause and please select your option. Both look like options in the menu. That's not very good design. If you ever read that one story about the guy who saw the girl kill herself in the lake, that was me. True story, too. Oh, uh, well. Uh, I'll miss you, CBC Gamer. I'm sorry you killed yourself. I mean, if there's anything I can do to help, you know, help your life as a ghost. 
Hmm. I should probably go ahead and bring these other two guys down. Because I'm sure I will need them at some point. Ugh. What kind of throw is that? This game was quite puzzling. Yes, it is most puzzling indeed. Alright, now let's do the thing with the stuff. Trying to beat Binding of Isaac with Blue Baby is so goddamn frustrating. Yeah. Uh, it took me quite a few deaths before I finally did it. Hmm. Let's get these guys out of the way, because I don't trust my ability to throw the spear without killing anybody. Okay, that worked out. The next Saw movie, someone has to play Farmville and accept item requests for 48 hours. Wow. I would kill myself post-haste if, uh, if that happened to me. Without hesitation. Be like, here, here's a gun. Now you can either play Farmville for 48 hours. <laughs> Damn. I would deprive Jigsaw of all of his fun. Speaking of Facebook games, though, I've been playing uh, the You Don't Know Jack Facebook game. And um, that's actually pretty good. It is just as good as the uh, the actual PC and console versions of the game. And I mean, in some ways, it's even better because they uh, they can add new content and you know update it all the time. So yeah, if any of you uh, want to play, you don't know Jack with me. Just uh, send me a message somewhere, and I'll tell you my Facebook handle. And we can, uh, we can play asynchronously. Okay, good. I was worried that would be a deadly drop. A deadly drop of death. Now, I mean, the one downside to it is they do need some way of making money. So you can only play one game per day unless you pay for more. But uh, I've been okay with one game per day. And they're not as long as the original levels, or the levels in the uh, the Xbox version. Um, it's only four questions and a jack attack, instead of nine questions and a jack attack. Uh, Gary Dempsey, welcome to the chat room. But uh, it's fun. I be Binding of Isaac with the Blue Baby. Yeah, eventually. I uh, I had to really put some elbow grease into it. What bugs me is how Facebook is advertising me based on what my friends say or like, hate it. Well, I mean, there are options you can set, like privacy options to turn that stuff off, which I did. And, you know, I don't actually post to Facebook, and I just filled it with, uh, with fake information. So they're not actually, you know, getting any of my precious, precious information. Alright, well, looks like we have the same basic formula in this level. Um, have a bunch of guys use the spear to jump across some holes. But uh, we have a new item to collect in this level. Item number three. The wheel. And the places I apply for jobs at to look at my posts about masturbating. Well, I mean, you know, that'll come in handy for some some kinds of jobs. Okay, just a uh, a one shot kill on that dino. Good, excellent day. Uh, okay, I see what I have to do. Hmm, or maybe not. It looks like I can throw the spear all the way across that pit. 
Uh, a lobster's Johnson. Welcome. Wow, that actually worked. Excellent. Aren't you the guy that made the new layout for uh, for Sam's Twitch channel, a Lobster Johnson? Because that is a that's a quality layout, very uh, visually appealing. Oh, so there are new hidden achievements for the Binding of Isaac. I saw that uh, Edmund McMillan was uh, updating it with some other stuff, but uh, I didn't know if uh, there were actual new achievements or not. I'm trying like my damnedest for the gold Golden God achievement. I'm pretty sure I've done everything I need to do, except uh, except that there are a few items that I need to actually get in the game. I've unlocked them. I just haven't actually gotten them in the game, so I can't add them to my collection yet. Uh, let's do this this way. Try to minimize potential harm to my humans. Right now, this guy can come down. Actually, this guy can stay where he is, and everyone else can come over. Golden God, you're looking for Platinum God now. Well, yeah, but you know, one step at a time. I can survive this drop, can I? Yeah, awesome. Right now, I don't need this crap anymore. I can drop the spear down. And I can throw the spear across to help my companions and everyone will have a Merry Christmas and this guy can just walk across I kinda wish this game had six button controller support. So when I uh when I cycle through my humans, it would be a lot easier if I could just use X and Z to go left and right instead of having to cycle all the way through. Kinda like uh Lost Vikings does when you're just playing one or two players. But oh well. This was actually a pretty early Genesis game. It came out in like 91 or 92, I think. So I guess it's not that early, but it uh, came out about the same time as Sonic. Enjoy the break from lewd comments. Oh, well, um. I don't have a problem with lewd comments. As long as they're intelligible. Revolution and transport. <laughs> Get it? Revolution. Because it's a wheel. Revolution, revolving, wheel. <laughs> it's funny because he's old. You need three cat items at the same time. Yeah, I've done that once, by accident. The, uh, the, re the reward for doing that isn't that great. And our goal on this one is to dodge the beastie. Which I assume means that you're not supposed to actually kill him. Uh, Monkey Man 8, welcome. I remember seeing Duke do that like the first time he played. 
What, get the cat? I mean, it's just another, like, flying item, I think. <laughs> the best invention is the second wheel. Because you have a wheel, it's just a unicycle. Yeah, well, these guys are pretty skilled on the unicycle. Uh, you can ride it, obviously. Or you can, uh... I believe there's a way to push it. Now, your only action when you're actually on the wheel is to get off, but, uh, maybe you actually need an item to push it. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's experiment. Yeah, okay. That's what you have to do. You just need an item. Oh, no. No, you don't. Okay. Well, good. Well, let's see if I can actually kill this guy. This, uh, this George and Jonathan, George and Jonathan track is called, uh, Little Marcus, and it's the theme song to, uh, the podcast The Besties, which I recommended once. That's, that's, uh, where I heard of these guys. I don't know what I'm supposed to actually do with this wheel. Oh. I probably need to hang on to that spear. Because there's a rock blocking your way down here. No way to get past it. Oops. Oh yeah, you can jump while you're on the wheel too. If you're uh, standing still, you get off the wheel. But if you're moving, you jump. But it's not a very big jump. But still, I guess I was lying when I said there's no way to jump in this game. All right. Well, let's uh, let's restart the level and take their advice and actually dodge the dinosaur instead of killing him. All right. See you later, to Minecrafter one. You know, if I don't kill the dinosaur, getting that torch is going to be very tricky. It's possible. It looks quite possible, but uh, I'm going to have to time this just right. Damn, I panicked and I didn't jump far enough. I'm safe here on the very edge, though. Uh... I believe that gets rid of that rock down there at the bottom, but I'm not sure if I need two people to stand on it or if it's just not showing it to me. Well, now that I have the torch over there, maybe I can actually kill the dinosaur now. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Okay. I think I see what I have to do. I need to bring two guys over to this side. Like so. And with the third guy, I need to go down and rescue what's-his-name. So I don't know why they even give you a wheel on this level. Okay. So yeah, that is a double pressure point. Oops. Don't do that. Well, I'll take the wheel down anyway. Because I'm assuming I'm going to need it for something. Alright, need to get the torch. Privacy, welcome to the chat room. Hmm, well, apparently. Well, no. Because I, I still don't need the wheel for that. I just need to drop the spear down. And take care of it.
Hmm. Oh. Need to get these guys back on the platform. And then take the spear back to them. Wait. Stand on the platform, stupid. Back for harassment. Do you want to be harassed or do you want to do the harassing? Oh, wait a second. If, if I bring one of those guys back over, it is going to put that rock back in the way. Maybe that's what you need the wheel for. Oh, you know what? I bet the wheel has the weight of a person. And I fucked up by bringing it down to the bottom. Rob, what's going on? Why is the chat still blank? Oh, please don't tell me that the chat's fucking up again. <sighs> I had no ended problems out of the chat room last time. And so far it's been working okay today. But Private Steve seems to be having issues with it. Alright. Let's walk across here. Push this wheel down. Oh, and by the way, if you push it over the feet of one of your fellow humans... No. no apparently not. I thought that, um... That they were supposed to, like, jump up and down and, like, hold their foot in pain. Didn't actually do anything. Like, it didn't kill them or anything. But it's just a funny, uh... Funny effect. Maybe they have to be, uh... Facing forward for it to happen. Okay. So, yeah, that is indeed the case. Oh, I need to, uh, do this first. Now, you have to be careful, because when it cuts away like that, you still have control. So, uh, you can accident accidentally walk off the ledge. <laughs> uh, everyone laugh at Private Steve. Alright, now you get back on there. I like Samson since his buff. Yeah, I mean, he's not as useless as he was, but, uh. I don't know, he's still not great. His starting stats are just abysmal. better than Eve. Uh, yeah. I'd say that's probably the case. I can't do anything with the blue baby. Yeah, I mean, no one can unless you get super lucky and you find a bunch of soul hearts. <laughs> I specifically play something to uh, mix it up from the Binding of Isaac. And everyone still talks about the Binding of Isaac. Which, you know, I can't, I can't blame them. It's an awesome game. And there's really not that much to say about this game. I mean, it's cool. It's fun. But, uh... There's not a whole lot to it. At least until later. And level complete. Change the game up and say a level or two. Well, I mean, I've been going for an hour now. I might as well finish out the, the two hour block. Unless I get really stuck or something. Ah, here we go. We actually need to ride the wheel now. Woo! Well, I didn't think I was going to make it or survive that jump. Alright, get off the wheel. I'm just happy I finally got the shears. 
Yeah, uh, I unlocked the shears, um, but I haven't actually found them in the, in the game itself yet. That's one of the items I still need to get from the original game. I need to get the shears, the brimstone, and uh, and the forgive me now. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I messed up by getting rid of the spear that early. No big deal. Don't get brimstone. Well, I mean, I need to get it at some point just to uh, just to unlock the achievement. In my last playthrough, I had the chance to get the forget me now from uh, from a devil room. And I really should have done it, just um, just to unlock it. Huh. Oh, I see what I have to do. Okay. Need to drop that spear down. Oh, there's a guy up there I can save too. All right, let's see if I can actually do this without dying this time. Oh crap! He didn't drop his spear. <laughs> well, I probably just screwed myself again. I need to get him to throw his spear at me, but not actually get hit by it. I love the smooth porn music. Well, I don't know what you're referring to, but this is clearly video game music, not porn music. You know, technically I don't think I even need to, uh... I don't even need to save that guy. And technically I don't even need to use the wheel either. All I have to do is jump across here. Get the spear. Run like shit. Run like the dickens. Throw the spear across. Jump across. Drop this spear down. Oh wait, that's not good enough. I need to actually go down and toss it. I guess riding the wheel is just a uh, just a fun alternative to the normal normal strategy. All right, now these guys. We can do this. Oh. I, I only needed to get one across, apparently. <gasps> Wrong action. Oh, crap. Whew. That was a close call. Uh, Richard Smith, welcome to the chat room. AKA Pokesmot420. This looks like lemmings. Yeah, there's some similarities. You have a bunch of vulnerable people that you have to uh, to guide through a series of challenging events. I really like the uh, the background design for this level. Looks really creepy. Also, no flickering, except when you're walking over the uh, the bumpy path there. Now I seem to recall having problems with this level, but I know I've beaten it because there's still uh, there's still an item that I need to get that I, that I know I've gotten before.
So uh, I'd like to wish everyone a happy early West Virginia Day. Tomorrow is the 149th anniversary of the, the admission of the state of West Virginia, West Virginia to the, the Union. And as a result, I get a day off. I might do a special surprise stream, stream to celebrate. Oh shit. I was afraid that would happen. Alright, let's see if I can uh, hold this guy off long enough to, uh, to get someone up this ladder. Okay. I was worried that wouldn't work. What a horrible mistake that was. Uh. Well, I don't know. I mean, if it didn't happen, then uh, West Virginia would still be Virginia. And Virginia has its share of prob problems, too. Hmm. Maybe this dinosaur only takes two spears to kill. I hope so, otherwise... We're gonna have problems. Okay, good. Man, I could have sworn these dinosaurs were supposed to look different, depending on how many hits they take to kill. Like they were, they were red dinosaurs or brown dinosaurs or something. But apparently not. Oh great, now how the hell am I supposed to get across there? What am I even supposed to, supposed to do here? I guess my goal. Oh crap! That dude just got eight. I didn't realize he was in danger. I don't know if this is going to work or not. No? Maybe if I'm at a lower part of this platform. No? Apparently I need to keep that spear. At least I, until I can get those two spears down. We should play Terraria with Namajem. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm not 100% sure if I'll have a chance to tomorrow, but um, we should be able to sometime this week. Okay, yeah. It's a kill the beasties. I should probably look at these goals before I, uh, before I just start the level willy-nilly. Sorry, Duke, I love your stream, but someone just linked me science vids. Well, uh, science is pretty interesting. I don't know if video games can really r rival science. So, uh, I forgive you. Do you download it online or buy a CD? I assume you mean Terraria. Yeah, you just buy it online. Buy it through Steam. Cause Steam's the shit. Huh. Oh, well, didn't I get Torch Guy up here before? I think it's possible.
How much is it? It's like 10 bucks or 15 bucks. Damn it. There we go. Okay. This is doable. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm done with this torch, I think. Shouldn't even need it after this point. I sunk 259 hours in it without even realizing where the time went. Jesus. And you want to play more? That's crazy sauce. Oh damn, this guy takes two hits too. Don't unlock hardcore mode on your home world, by the way. I generally avoid anything called hardcore mode. Wait, is that a wise idea? Okay. Okay, I'm cool. My friends want me to play Minecraft. By Duke, by everybody in the chat. Alright, see you later. I have to say, with the, uh... Oh, shit. With the updates that have come out since the last time I played, Minecraft looks more compelling than it used to. Still don't know if it's compelling enough to get me to play, but uh, it looks better. I hated Saints Row 3 so much. Well, I'm enjoying it so far. Like I said, I'm just uh, about four hours into it. But it's, it's been a pretty good time. I do wish there were more awesome moments, like there are in the first. 20 minutes of the game or so, but I'm assuming there will be plenty more because uh, those four hours, you know, I barely scratched the surface. Minecraft is probably trying to, to compete with Terraria. I think you have it backwards, dude. It's the other way around. Of course, you know, of the dozens of Minecraft clones there have been, Terraria is the best one. But I mean, it's still, you know, a 2D Minecraft clone. Woo, look at him dance. They're jamming out to the fat beats and the hot rhythms. Have you guys seen the uh, the preview information for Notch's new game? It looks pretty fucking crazy. It's about like a crew on a spaceship that uh, that was frozen in a cryogenic sleep, and they were only supposed to be frozen for uh, you know a relatively short amount of time, but they were actually frozen for like three thousand years. And they wake up adrift in space, like 3,000 years in the future, and, uh, you know, totally isolated from everything. And they have to use their wits to, uh, I guess just survive. Um, it seems kind of open ended that way. But, uh, the game is like a, uh, it contains, like, a programmable 16 bit computer that you need to, uh, you need to use. It looks pretty crazy. I mean, there's no actual, you know, video or anything yet. 
just a description of the game. But uh, it sounds pretty awesome. I don't expect it will be out anytime soon. Hello, the entire plot of Red Dwarf. Well, n nobody watches your dumb British TV shows. I'm just kidding. There are tons of British TV, sh TV shows I like. But I've never watched Red Dwarf, though. I probably should. I wonder if it's on Netflix. I mean, you know, it's not like being lost in space was a totally original trope when Red Dwarf did it. I mean, it was originally done by uh, Lost in Space. What's Doctor Who? What's the Office? I actually like the American version of The Office better than the British version. At least for the first, like, four seasons or so. After that, it kind of dropped off. But, you know, in America, we tend to, you know, totally run TV series into the ground. Whereas in England, they're more sensible about that kind of thing. I mean, Doctor Who is really the, uh, the only example. Well, it's one of the... It's a big example of a British show that's been running for like a billion years. But, you know, usually they uh, go for a couple seasons and then, uh, you know, let it die before it really starts to get steel. We have soap operas that have been running forever. Yeah, um... God, I, I forget what it's called. Um, but, uh... But, I mean, Doctor Who is like a, uh... It's a more well-known institution. In the U.S., anyway. But, I mean, over here, we, we let every show go forever, as long as it's popular. Even after it's been horrible for many years. Like, like The Simpsons has. Well done, I finished level 17. EastEnders, yeah, that's the show I was thinking of. That's another one of those shows that's been running for 11 bajillion years. Lost is over. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they probably could have kept that running. But eventually, I think people would have started to lose patience with it. It went too fart, said the dead deity. Can I quote you on that? LOL, you said fart. LOL. Am I up to a rescue? Oh, I think I have it in me. I started seeing the boondocks in Netflix. That's a cool show. I've only watched uh, most of the first season. I haven't watched uh, anything else, but uh, what I've seen is very funny. You know, I think it's possible to just drop a spear on that guy to kill him. I don't know if I should risk it or not, though. I liked Terra Nova, but they canceled it for some reason. I've heard good things about that show. You know, I'm not sure which is, uh, which is better, trying to drop the spear on him or trying to throw it at him. Because if I drop it on him, then, uh, you know, I'm safe. There's no chance he will throw his spear in retaliation before I can do so. But, I have a bigger chance of missing him. Yeah, that happened.
I think I'm just gonna have to take my lumps here. Oh wow, he actually picked up and used the other spear. That's kind of weird. Oh well. At least I wasn't actually, uh... I didn't respawn in time for him to actually, uh... Hit me again with it. Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to... Do a little, uh... Little relay race here. Don't remind me of Arrested Development, jeez. Well, at least that one's coming back. At least, so they've been saying. It's supposed to be, uh... An original Netflix series. But, you know, who knows? I mean, I don't even know if it's still in development. If it is, they have not released much information about it. Uh, Cosmo X, welcome to the stream. Don't think I've seen you before. For those of you who are new or just joining us on Duke of the Bump, I play games of all kinds from all generations. I like classic games, I like new games, I like puzzle games, I like uh, whatever the Binding of Isaac is. Roguelike, twin stick shooter Zelda games, I guess. I'm gonna have to make sure this guy doesn't uh, bamboozle my spear. I think that's the correct usage of the word bamboozle. Make sure he doesn't misappropriate my spear. I heard a rumor that Terra Nova will become a Netflix series too. Well, it's uh... It's the sort of thing Netflix deals in. I think it's great that Netflix is getting original programming. I hope this uh, paves the way for uh, a richer ecosystem of internet content. How big a time span is there in the games you've streamed slash LP? I've got like 30 years worth of history here. Uh, well, the oldest game that I've streamed is Aztec on the Apple II. Well, I didn't stream that. I, uh, I LP'd it. And I only did, like, uh, a couple videos of that. But that came out in 1982, I believe. So yeah, about 30 years of history here, too. I think that's the only pre-90s game. Well, I mean, other than, like, obvious NES stuff, like Mario 3 and Mega Man 2 and stuff. But I think Aztec is the oldest game I've actually played on LP or stream. We don't even have Netflix in my country. Yeah, and that sucks. That's the one unfortunate thing about Netflix, is the, uh, the licensing issues. <laughs> uh, look at their toes throb in agony, agonizing pain. What, uh, what country are you in, Bob Lob? Because I know in, uh, in England, they have a love film, which is kind of a, uh, a Netflix-like service. I don't know how good it is, though. But at least it's something. I mean, in a lot of countries, they don't have any kind of streaming TV at all. At least not legally. Uh, Pudding Face, welcome to the stream. Thanks for making it. For those of you just joining us, this is not the humans game mentioned in the, uh, in the description. This is the humans on the Sega Genesis. Shit! Oh. I guess it's not gonna be that easy, is it? Yeah, 
And the music I'm playing is uh, either a George and Jonathan or an excellent uh, remix album called FM Sound Shock Funk Terror. Oh, I guess that guy needs to keep standing there. To fit the, uh, the retro theme of this stream. You're from Norway, Bob Lob. Well, hopefully uh, Netflix arrives soon then. You can just pirate everything. Yeah, and I mean, that's always an option. <clears throat> but I mean, I've received threatening notices from my inter internet service provider for pirating things before. Which made me paranoid. I mean, I try to be as careful as possible. I use uh, news groups for anything I can, which is, uh, you know, relatively under the radar. And uh, when I do have to use torrents, I use, you know, Pure Block or Pure Guardian or whatever the. Uh... Oh crap, I hope I don't need that wheel. And you know, I, I pay for as much content as I can, but I watch so much and play so many games and listen to so much music that there's no way I could possibly pay for everything. Woo! I don't have the uh, the sound effects on, so you miss out on the uh, the little victory noise that they make. They go woo! Feds are coming for me. Eh, they can't prove anything. Besides, piracy is a uh, a civil matter, matter, not a criminal one. So the feds can't do anything. Man, yeah, I haven't really done much with that wheel so far, have I? Pretty much just uh, go down a few ramps and. Uh, And jump off a few ramps. Oh crap. I probably needed to hang on to that spear, didn't I? Oh well. Restart level. Did you not make a video and put it on YouTube? Who said that? Are you quoting somebody there? Alright, drop down the spear. In reference to you saying they can't prove it. I'm playing a legitimate copy of this game, sir. And there's no way you can prove otherwise. I am playing on a... Uh, on the original system. I have modified it a little bit to include menus with graphic options. Um, but, you know, those are all you know, modifications that I made personally. And uh, the game is a legal copy purchased from a brick and mortar retailer. Look, proof is such a nebulous word. I mean, who can really quote unquote prove anything, you know? I mean, reality is so subjective. I mean, sure, maybe this isn't a legitimate copy of a video game. But, you know, who's to say what is and isn't legitimate these days, in these crazy times? I like the Wimp add-on for the Mega Drive, yeah. 
It is a uh, very popular homebrew hack. I should become a lawyer. Yeah, I can start my own law blog. Duke Law Blaws Law Blog. Nah, if I was a lawyer, I'd just use the insanity defense every time. Rescue your pet. That would be the little... The cute little mini dinosaur walking back and forth up there. He's not actually a character who uh, is used in the game in any way. He's just uh, a different kind of MacGuffin. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, well, let's see. I, nope, that didn't work. Oh, I didn't respond with my wheel. What kind of dinosaur is that? Um, it's a it's a thesaurus. A little known breed of uh, a dinosaur. I think there's another word for it, but I can't remember what. Do dinosaurs have breeds? I don't think that's a correct thing to say at all. Oh, I oh I know what I have to do. I have to uh, climb up here to access the pterodactyl. Hmm, that didn't work. Damn. The dinosaur dropped away before I thought it would. They have species. Yeah, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Species. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I bet I screwed up. I don't think I'm supposed to come down here with this guy yet. <laughs> I went to Google, do dinosaurs have breeds, and I suggested breasts. Well, you know, the breast is the most succulent meat of the dinosaur. It's also the most low in fat. Because, you know, the chicken is, you know, the most... Uh, the most common relative to the dinosaur that we have today. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm sure dinosaur was delicious. Wow, I'm surprised that fall didn't kill me. I think I have to be just a smidge farther to the left here. Just a skosh. For fuck's sake, Duke. What? What did I say? The case against Anders Bering Breivik is going on these days. They're trying to decide whether he's insane or not. Isn't that the guy who slaughtered all those kids? I don't know if he's insane or not. His actions are definitely insane. And uh, his opinions. But uh... Oh crap. I need to uh I need to give this torch back to the other guy. I didn't realize there was another bush I'd need to burn over there. Oh 
Uh, Tiffin is welcome to the chat room. 77 dead. Wow. I didn't realize it was that many. Just Drop says he definitely has a problem or two. Yeah, I mean, he is... He's a fucked up individual. Now, my only problem with... Oh, what did I just do? I threw my spear over there instead of the torch. God damn it. Maybe I can land on the back of that pterodactyl and, uh... And make my way back over there. Wow. I was not expecting that to work. I thought I would have to restart. Now why are those rocks still there? I thought I was standing on the, uh, oh. Oh yeah, that's right. I had to throw the, uh, the fire back. Alright, little buddy. I got gotcha. you. What do I have to do? Pick you up? Ah. Well done. Moj Draconis has some issues with the blue baby. In Europe, what time is the stream? Uh, it is uh, 2300 Greenwich Mean Time. So whatever your uh, your local time zone is, based on uh, Greenwich Mean Time, you can figure it out that way. It's 2.55 in the morning in Norway, apparently. Usually the stream starts at 11 p.m. for me in England. Right, yes, 2300 Greenwich Mean Time. Wait, I thought your time zone was GMT plus one CPC gamer. That's what all the confusion the other day was about. Oh wait, humans rescue baby dinosaur. Extra, extra. Aww. What a cutie. In Binding of Isaac, what's Samson's reference? Uh, it's a reference to uh, Samson and Delilah, another story in the Bible. I don't know what it's about. Something about uh, something about hair. No break is going to change the fact that this game is way too hard in the beginning for someone that can't fucking heal. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, it just uh, it just takes persistence. His hair is the source of his power. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what the Bible story was about. Samson hair, Samson's hair was his strength, his trusted Delilah, his love with his secret. She cut his hair off and he was captured. Oh, well. Thanks to uh, Darian Mask for the, uh, for the history lesson, or the literature lesson, or whatever that qualifies as. Then Tom Jones wrote a song about it. All right, well, um, that's been about two hours, so uh, I will go on ahead and call the stream here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed something a little bit different. Um, I've had fun. I, I really like this game. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll probably play something different on Thursday, and hopefully, at some point during the week, we can uh, we can get together with Moors and. Uh, and Namajem and play some Terraria. But uh, if you enjoy the stream, please follow me on Twitch. Um, it helps. You know, the higher my numbers are, the better I feel about myself. And if you use uh, Twitter, follow me on Twitter at DukeLPs. And if you use Facebook, you can find me at facebook.com slash Duke of the Bump. You can email me at Duke of the Bump at gmail.com. Uh, you can find my normal Twitter account at Duke of the Bump. I use Duke of, Duke of the Bump for jokes and dumb posts, and I use uh, Duke LP for video and stream announcements. Follow me on both. I think you will enjoy it. Pinfoldorf, welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, you are coming in at the worst possible time because I'm about to end it. Thanks, everyone. Who watched the stream? Hey, Duke, Dukes and Ducats, am I late? Yes, um, just a, just a little bit, just just two hours or so. When I troll Reddit, I use Duke of the Bump. Thanks, just drop. I appreciate the uh, the positive press. I just got home from work. Now that sucks. I'm sorry. 
follow me on YouTube at youtube.com slash user slash mushroom. All of my live streams are archived there. And the chat room will go up as uh, as captions, as always. And, uh, yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Sleep well. I love you all. Have a good life. Good night.